Hello, my name is Joachim Gomez and welcome to the Youth Action Challenge. Now, when I say things like Facebook, the trampoline, maybe even Superman, what do they have in common? They were created or invented by, you guessed it, youth. I hope you trust me on this one, you can fact check it later. So, in the month of September 2019, as part of the Youth Action Plan, the Youth Action Challenge was launched by the Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth and the National Youth Council as a chance for the youth to showcase their great vision and great ideas for Singapore in the year 2025 and a chance to implement their ideas to the tune of $50,000. If you want to know more, let's hear from some of our judges. I see young people stepping up with all kinds of ideas and it's for us to encourage <laughs> and to nudge them to more action. We want to help Singapore youths who have very concrete ideas about how to make Singapore a better home for all realise that vision sooner than they otherwise would have. Work with them to translate many of the proposals that they have put up into initiatives that will produce tangible benefits for Singaporeans and Singapore. Our young people are looking actively into these issues that matter to Singapore and they want to look at how they can make Singapore better. It's not just about our idea but how do we work with others and leverage on the strengths and resources that are around us. What more important than to give young people a platform uh, to own the future and this is one way to do it. Hopefully you know this can allow the whole community to join in to try and help solve a problem together. It's a great way to bring young people together, thinking of solutions for today's problems, thinking of newer solutions for tomorrow's challenges. The inaugural competition had over 60 teams taking part and the youth of Singapore gave their ideas on three tracks, environment, societal, as well as jobs and the future of work. For the environment track, they could come up with ways to achieve zero waste or maybe implement a more sustainable lifestyle. For the societal track, they could help the disadvantage, promote mental well-being or help youth at risk. And for the jobs and future of work, they could come up with ideas to upskill, reskill and to promote innovation. It's not a one-way street though. From September to November of 2019, youth actually had the chance to go deeper to understand the context of issues faced by our industry experts and government leaders. And they also received suggestions on how to generate ideas. Let's find out why they embarked on this journey. I've always wanted to empower people, especially those who are born into circumstances where they have no choice over. And I saw that you know, in this Youth Action Challenge, it's very different in a sense where we actually get the chance to um, kind of influence policy with the government but also work with you know different stakeholders so it will tackle social issues in a different manner. I've seen uh, youth hesitant to seek help which um, worries me a lot and I start to ask questions to myself like how can I play a part you know in helping these people uh, youths further. YC and NYC actually provide the platform for us to voice out our ideas as well as mentors and guides that allow us to further develop our ideas and refine them to better suit uh, our target audiences. It was really important that teams receive help to come up with the best pitches they could and to refine their ideas and to implement their solutions, they turned to their mentors. The participants have had at least about a month to actually go through the ideas and ideate and this provides them an opportunity for them to share their ideas to others and to receive useful feedback on how they can improve their initiative and network to concretize their initiatives further. I'm very impressed by, by the two teams that I worked with is that the amount of progress that they made in like the very short three to four months that they worked on the project. So they went out to different organisations, stakeholders that they've never met before and impressed them with their ideas and pitches and they're willing to strike collaborations with it. I focus more on the refinement of the idea, so getting the team to scope down, focus on what they want to actually present, how they should do pitching, how they should make their ideas clear and forthright. This is their real opportunity to hear from people so they can take this practical experience and also mesh it with their fresh ideas. Um, for me, it's just really heartening that they are thinking about these things and want to be part of the solution. We have celebrities like Felicia Chin, Benjamin Tan and Jitin Rambala who are advocates for our three tracks to help the teams increase their social media savviness and presence. To all the teams, I can't wait to meet all of you and I hope the ideas that we think of together can spark the next generation. It's going to be an amazing journey for us and I'll see you guys soon. Hello teams, I look forward to meeting you guys and I'm sure that we'll have lots of fun on the Youth Action Challenge. 
Only 12 teams will make it to the finals, which is the Youth Action Challenge Summit, happening on the 4th of April, where the top four teams will vie for a chance at $50,000 to put their ideas into motion. So, who will qualify? Make sure you watch the qualifiers and keep it right here at the Youth Action Challenge. My name is Joachim Gomez.